Good morning, friends and fellow traders. It's Friday. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options coming to you with a morning market preparation video for October 19th, 2018. So, hey, everyone, yesterday was kind of a disappointing day, wasn't it? We, um, I, I had warned about resistance and hopefully, um, hopefully you weren't too surprised by the possibility of that selling off resistance is an amazing thing how it works um just as just as support is and i, I gotta tell you honestly after 28 years of trading um 13 years as a full-time trader studying price action gets well it's just as fascinating today as it was when i began it, it's amazing how this stuff works and if we are willing to recognize what the price action is telling us trading actually becomes quite a little bit easier um, just paying attention to support resistance and trends so this morning if we take a look kind of take an unbiased look here at the market we see that we have now created the possibility of a higher whoops of a higher low here in the market um, that is problematic for us now this morning we're getting um, bullishness in the futures which I gotta be honest is a little bit seems a little bit strange to me considering that China reported um, a, a growth rate um, well under what they were expecting for their economy and China sold off strongly last night Asian uh, excuse me uh, European markets are also mostly lower this morning. So to see this bullishness after a 327 point sell off in the Dow, see this bullishness in the morning with all of those other things, tensions between Saudi Arabia rising, um, trade war with China kind of getting more and more contentious after a report from the White House yesterday. It just seems to me that this, this gap up we should be really careful of. So this morning we're gapping back up and we're gapping up into a resistance area and we're seeing uh, seeing some bullishness this morning. Now, a large amount of that's being driven by the earnings, earnings numbers and earnings reports coming out. And that's fine. It's just that we have to think about this clearly. Um, if you are a trader, and you know, and you're thinking about the tensions and things like that that are going on right now, how much risk do you really want to carry into the weekend? Now think about that when it comes to the mind of the, the futures and being kind of pushed up this morning by institutions. Would it be a out of the question to think that they, they would push this up this morning just so that they can have someone to sell to? If they can get enough people to jump in, to dive in, couldn't we um, experience one of those pop and drop patterns? A pop and drop is where we gap up in the morning. And we've seen those uh, before. We gap up in the morning and then immediately we start finding sellers and the sellers continue to accelerate uh, throughout the day to the downside. Let's hope that's not the case here. But we also want to be very conscious of the fact that if we look at the Dow right now or the diamonds right now, we are currently down trending. This gap up this morning really changes nothing. And we need to be really careful on how we approach that. I kind of suspect the volatility that we've seen over the market isn't going to subside for any time soon. So be careful how much risk you plan into this weekend with the things going on. We could easily see a massive gap up or a massive gap down. Monday morning putting you at serious risk so just be careful and plan that carefully on how much risk you want to carry into the weekend so with that everyone let's take a quick look um, all I can really do is suggest that this right down here is now our support low and I'm even going to move that up a little bit off of those wicks because we get um, uh, more of a test right in here so um, the possibility of this uh, lower high, uh, maybe testing, retesting this low, and possibly even breaking through that low seems pretty logical and very possible. It's also possible that we could hold a higher low here 
and actually begin a little bit of a rec um, um, recovery here to come back up and test the 50 day moving average, which honestly isn't that far away. There's our 50 day moving average, which would be a natural resistance point for the market anyway. So let's think about that and as we plan forward. Let's uh, take a look at the SPY. SPY basically in the same situation, except for the SPY is, is actually slightly more bearish. And that's because we we really busted through that 200 day moving average and rallying to this resistance and then failing as strongly as it did yesterday a um, little bit of a concern so once again we have a um, an index here where the current trend is showing lower this gap up this morning into this area really changes nothing it doesn't change the downtrend and we are still below the resistance that kicked us down yesterday so watch that close we take a look at the cues nasdaq also very similar situation um and maybe even the most bearish of uh, the markets right now this is an evening star pattern an evening star candle pattern that uh, suggests more lows uh to come so as you Take a look at this, just notice that this is that downtrend, this is the lower high, that's how a downtrend uh, begins. And this rally back up this morning is only gapping us up toward price resistance levels that um, could certainly reject this price. So nothing has changed here. I would be really careful about running into this market, all kinds of bullish because of the uh, gap up this morning. Let's take a look at IWM. IWM is one, one sick index right now. Breaking down substantially, you can see if we look at our moving averages, we are well below our 200-day moving average. That doesn't seem to be improving at the moment. We do have a little bit of a gap up here, but um, a small gap up. And once again, kind of a morning, or excuse me, an evening star type pattern in those three candles. So we'll wanna keep an eye closely. And don't be surprised. Don't be surprised if we catch some selling heading into the weekend. Just folks wanting to unload and um, reduce their risk over the weekend. So plan carefully. Let's take a look at the VIX. That VIX did end up giving us that bounce yesterday, doggone it. And it really bounced in a very logical place. It bounced very, very close. We, we did crack down through here and then reverse back higher. So we looked at the indexes and we saw a lot of um, evening star patterns. Well, when we look at the VIX, VIX, we see the absolute opposite. We see a morning star pattern at or near price support. Um, not something that makes me very comfortable um, in the market, even though I see the futures trying to push solidly higher here this morning. Not exactly comfortable with that. So we'll wanna be very careful on how we approach this. Fear has not left the market, no matter how much they push up the futures this morning. Let's see if real buyers actually come in to support those prices today. Let's take a look at uh, T21, 22. There we go. T2122, four week, new high, new low ratio. Here's the daily chart on T2122. We spiked way up and I suggested yesterday on that spike back up, be careful because that gave us room to move back down. That's exactly what happened. Um, and we moved back down and we're back down here in this bullish reversal zone. So this is one of those good signs for the market and maybe some support of this bullish move this morning that we're seeing in the futures that we have plenty of room for upside here. I just wonder if um, we're really willing to buy up a whole bunch of things on a Friday ahead of the weekend uh, with current conditions going on that's yet to be seen so wait and watch to see after this gap up this morning if there's actual buyers coming in to support the price if there is we might be clear we might create that higher low in the market and really get a nice little lift um, on the market today so watch 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 don't chase okay watch and plan carefully your trades let's um 
go back here and then take a look at the economic calendar this morning. Um, economic calendar, we have kind of a light day today, but we do have a big number. Existing home sales coming out at 10 o'clock a.m. Eastern Time. Those existing home sales have been a little bit disappointing over the last few months and, and just kind of missing on estimates. It's not bad, just a little bit of concern. And they're looking for just a slight decline uh, this week um, in this number. So we have three Fed speakers today. Uh, normally that doesn't move the market around at all, but with the tensions going on between the president and the FOMC, you always want to be watchful of what they comment on if they get involved in that argument with the president that could certainly create some tension in the market. And after that, we just have the Baker Hughes rig count to kind of finish up the week. We have a kind of a light day uh, considering uh, earnings season. We have kind of a light day today on earnings. And that's just be, uh, just a normal Friday function where we usually have fewer earnings on Friday. We have about 30 companies reporting earnings today and quite a few um, name earnings reporting this morning. So um, we'll want to kind of keep an eye on, on that. Like uh, Honeywell reporting this morning. See, we're getting a nice gap up in Honeywell. Procter & Gamble reporting this morning. Nice gap up in Procter & Gamble. That will certainly help... Um, the the market overall so kind of kind of we'll just have to wait and see if we actually get buyers to um, step in and and support this gap up this morning um, um, Slumberger also reporting this morning looks like they've reported gapping up slightly but not all that impressive so as the morning goes on, we'll see how this develops. Be careful. Plan your risk into the weekend very carefully. And I want to wish everyone just an awesome, awesome day. Okay? And a great weekend. So if this is the first time you've seen these videos, please do me a favor. Click that subscribe button there on YouTube. And, and then click that bell, that little bell, that uh, so you'll be notified um, every time I post a video. Also, click those thumbs up buttons and drop a comment. I truly appreciate it. Everyone have an awesome, awesome weekend. We'll talk to you all bright and early Monday morning. Take care now.